I think it was 2005 when that's correct yes when i decided you know what um i'm gonna start something in the township growing up in the township it's like you said earlier it's, it's not easy um it's tough and I'm, I'm happy that Paige is here because he said something earlier on that uh, anton ferrera said to me that they wanted to pick me a year before i made my debut for south africa and and I never understood why I was never picked. And then I spoke to uh, A.D. Burial about it. Um, and then he said, no, 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 no. Yes, I did that because there were a few things I wanted you to learn. But they were never related into cricket. You know, they were All right. how to uh, room with your teammate, um, how to speak in public and all that. But in, in, in our schools, we don't really do that. Um, yeah. So... I wanted to start something like that, um, and then I did. Um, started um, Funekonga with your brother, Greek, with my brother. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we started um, the cricket academy. Uh, so we 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 made sure that the schools are playing. Uh, so we had about five schools. Uh, we picked the best uh, cricketers there, so we trained them. Uh, since then. Yeah, I went to England, I think. In, no, 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 I went to Devon before that. So I left my brother. So my brother took over. He just... Uh, Could I say something? Over. I've got to interrupt you because you aren't telling one part of the story. You put you put every single cent you had made for the pro tiers into Motherwell Career Club. Is that correct? Yes, I did. I did, Vince, because I felt the need. I knew how tough it was for me. Um, yeah. Up and I want the, the listeners to hear that, Gummy, because yes, so, it's really important. Yes, yeah, so whenever I would come back uh, to my level, so I would, I would take those young young boys, uh, would go on tours, would just go on all those rural areas and keep Williams down. Um, yeah. But I never had like funding where people would say, listen, uh, don't use your own money or whatever. Uh, yeah. But my goal and my vision was to make sure that uh, we've got an indoor centre there. Um, everything that you're doing with Master Sport Day in Cape Town, yeah. it's, that's basically what I wanted to do. Um, and then I left, and then I came back uh, again, and then Cricket South Africa took over uh, because there was uh, plans to have the RPCs and hubs. Um, but when they came to Mother World, they saw they were, or there was something that was happening there, so they just put money in uh, together with EP Cricket and everyone. And that's where the trouble started because now there was money. So when I was using my own money, no one was bothered about anything. So now that everyone was happy, the club was happy. But Yeah, it's quite, it's quite now, complicated this, Gummy, because I, I mean, part of it was um, the academy at Fort Hare had really fallen into disuse. Oh after the 2003 World Cup. And I asked you, because I was waiting for Cricket South Africa to take over at Fort Hare, and you were there for 10 years and did a hell of a job. And we sort of resuscitated the academy through you. And then you went off and coached. So when I asked you the other day what you were doing, <clears throat> I was a bit surprised. I mean, it's lovely that you commentate because I listen to you, and I listen to Paisley occasionally, and I listen to all the stuff. But I know where your heart is, and your heart is a mother well. So I can't criticize who's there because I don't know who they are. But you, to me, would be the ideal guy to head it up because you know the community. For those of you who are listening who don't know, Umfaneka and Gum is the only pro tier player who has come from a junior school and a high school in a township. Every single other player of color who plays for the Proteas has come through and been sort of headhunted or has come from a family who can afford a model school or a private school. So Gummy is unique here. And so he understands Motherwell like no one else. Um, so what do you want to achieve in Motherwell now, Umfaneka? Um, so now, Vince, what I've, uh, what I've done um, through the program that you're doing uh, at Massey, I remember you invited me in Jobbik, um at the yeah. function and you show a clip 
there, I was I was really touched on on what you guys are doing there, and then I realized that the reason why I started what I started there in Malabar was to make sure that the schools play cricket, and like you said earlier on, um, there's no sport at the moment in our townships, and if we can make sure that after school, almost everyone who wants to play sport, then everyone yeah. is there. And I'm lucky enough now I'm doing commentary and now I've got time, time in my hands. So I went to the school where I come from, where it was the name of the school is Douglas and Boba. So I sat with the principal, I sat with the coaches, I sat with all the teachers and I said, guys, this is the plan. This is what I want to do. I want to make sure that cricket here in Motherwell is back to where I left it uh, before I went to Forte. Um, but I just want to use the school, but the schools within mother will benefit in terms of what is or what we're going to be doing but the challenge events that i have at the moment is the facilities um, you guys have got beautiful facilities at your school but there we don't have nets and um we we tried to put nets in before COVID. uh so we bought uh, the meds um there's a guy from England who, who helped us with little money. Um, and then we just bought those nets and uh, we try and make it look nice. And then after COVID, everything was vandalized. And when I went to the school and there was no mat, no netting and all that. So I decided, you know what, um, now I'm not going to spend out of my own pocket. Uh, so I'm going to try and ask for, for help to people who can assist me. I've been to Department of I want to ask you a question on Fineco, which is quite important because it's important because people who are going to give money will want to know this. You know the, do you know, the, I presume you know the community well. If Very well, yes. And we found this in Massey as well. You have to go and get the community support that they protect your ground and they protect your nets. And whether that's to go to the guys in charge of the taxis or even the guys in charge of the gangs to say, go off the limits here. You've got to get the word out that this is protected property. If that's the case, then people, I think, will give more readily. So I, I want to do a punt for you, if you don't mind. And I want to especially speak to the people in Port Elizabeth, East London, anyone in the Eastern Cape. Whether you're rural or urban doesn't make any difference. I've known Omfineko for a long time. Hugh has known Moses him far more than I do. But you will know that he's humble, he's committed, he's the most glorious man, and he needs your support. Now, the support can come from people who have cement or the cement factories to put up a cement pitch in the middle of the field people who can do AstroTurf on the top. Um, if you are uncertain about the type of um, netting around the um, two um, nets that they've got, you might even put wire in there. One doesn't mind. But there are so many schools out in Port Elizabeth who could give second-hand equipment to the school. But I'm really appealing to the people who can afford it to donate money to Umfineko. And I'm going to go back to Umfineko because Umfineko, <coughs> you started what you said was an MPC and now you're going to become an MPO and a PBO so you can get tax certificates, etc. We've just got a message from Duncan Brown saying that he's uh, dedicated 5,000 rand from me for equipment. Uh, to, go to, the, uh, to go to the source. So that's fantastic. Thank you, Duncan. That's brilliant. How yes. would they contact you? So let's kick this go. off. And I believe we have the correct email address. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get behind it because I, from a personal point of view, I know the work that, that, that Vince and the guys are doing down there in the Cape and it's fantastic. 